Yeah, so the first thing I wanna do is address some of the misconceptions that people had about how long the bots would last before needing to be recharged. The Tesla bot, on the other hand, has been designed to last eight hours. Its average consumption rate is estimated to be around 250 to 300 watts or something similar, which would allow you to go from 100% to almost 0% of its maximum power during an eight hour day. The actuators which will consume the energy are what we know to be fairly powerful, the Optimus actuators about a year ago. During AI day two, Tesla published a video demonstrating the capability of the hamstring actuator, which is located in the bot's leg. Video is quite remarkable as it demonstrates the actuator's ability to lift a grand piano. Ever wonder what powers Tesla's bots futuristic? Prowess? Today we're connecting to the electrifying the trade secrets for keeping Tesla's revolutionary invention charged and prepared to take the world by storm from battery replacement to induction charging. We'll explore the secrets to keeping Tesla's bot operational. But first, let's take a quick look inside. We'll examine the difficulties and innovations influencing the future of Tesla's bot and how these developments could revolutionize entire industries. So fasten your seatbelts because we're about to take a tour of the cutting edge technologies behind Tesla's upcoming significant advancement. Prepare to have your curiosity and imagination peaked. Just so you know, we have renowned Tesla bot expert doctor, Scott Walter joining us today to dispel these myths. However, before we get started, we would like you all to show your support by liking this video and subscribing to Tesla Stock News. All right, enough about that. Let's get started. Tesla recently released a new video showing the Tesla bot without its armor, but detractors are still questioning the bot's durability and power. Let's address these concerns head on. First, let's talk about runtime. Many people have theorized that the Tesla bot can only function for approximately an hour before needing to be recharged, but the truth is far different, says Dr. Walter with confidence. According to Dr. Walter, the Tesla bot can operate at peak performance for more than four hours based on its battery pack capacity and maximum power consumption. However, he downplays concerns about computation demands, pointing out that the bot is designed to function well for an eight hour shift when average power consumption is taken into account. Contrasting the computer requirements of the bot with a laptop unlike laptops, the computing system on Optimus is simplified and designed to be as efficient as possible. It is not required to do functions like emailing or streaming videos. This unique mechanism guarantees low power usage, showcasing the impressive actuators on the robot as the conversation progresses. Dr. Walter shows a stunning video that Tesla released demonstrating how powerful these actuators are. He says they can easily move a half ton grand piano and the energy needed is shockingly low, just 183 watts or the equivalent of a few light bulbs, doctor. Walter explains how the bot skills are based on physics. He explains that the Tesla bot effectively lifts big loads by using fundamental laws of motion and force. When you take into account the battery pack's energy density, it becomes evident that the Tesla bot is more than capable of undertaking challenging jobs, allaying worries about battery size. Even though the bot's battery pack is smaller than a Tesla Model E's doctor, Walter confirms that it still has adequate power to run the machine for extended. Periods of time, it can raise the grand piano for up to 12 hours straight or go 10 miles on a highway. Let's get into the weighty matter of the Tesla bot. Have you ever wondered about the sheer mass of a car? It's substantial weighing between 3,000 and 4,000 LB. Now compare that to the battery pack, which weighs only a small portion of the car, roughly 1,000 LB dot dash dash, but the story changes dramatically when it comes to Optimus with the batteries in the Tesla bot weighing no more than 10 kg. Optimus is far from that. Even other humanoid robot vendors tout hours of operation on smaller battery packs, instilling confidence in Optimus's capabilities. Power hungry, they can lift a grand piano with just 183 watts of energy less than the output of a few light bulbs. And remember, Optimus can go the distance, operating for a solid eight hours. Then there's the talk about defying physics, but as Doc Walter points out, similar skepticism once surrounded electric semis, skepticism that didn't AG well. Ultimately, the human body is capable of successfully doing difficult jobs, and although the Tesla bot's battery pack could be smaller than a Model Y's, it's ideally suited for the job at hand, providing power without going overboard. Let's talk about it. In the most recent. Video, the Tesla bot's aesthetics are displayed as it stands exposed sans armor. While some may view this as a bold move, Dr. Walter interprets it as a sign of confidence and a testament to the bot's stability and precision in motion. The motion capture dots are not just for show, they serve a crucial role in helping to collect data. 
and fine-tune the bot's movements. Additionally, with the armor removed, the bot's slim-down design is evident, demonstrating Tesla's commitment to efficiency. Now let's talk about the walking speed. The removal of the bot's armor reveals more than just its sleek form, so viewers shouldn't be alarmed. Doctor. Walter estimates a modest. Decline from the prior iteration signaling a probable alteration in walking algorithms. The main revelation is in the hips of the Tesla bot, but doctor. Walter emphasizes the clean cabling arrangement that dispels any disorder that may be hiding beneath the surface. With every iteration, the Tesla bot becomes closer to a polished market-ready product, demonstrating Tesla's unwavering quest of perfection. Dr. Walter highlights minute variations in hip movement across iterations that may indicate advances in neural network training. This newly discovered sway improves motion efficiency while also improving balance. Laying the groundwork for more fluid and organic movements examining joint designs, Dr. Walter notices just slight alterations, suggesting that improvement is prioritized above overhaul, but the elbow. Mechanism specifics are still unclear. Dr. Walter is still committed to finding any minute changes that could draw our attention to the motion capture system. Dr. Walter discusses how tracking reflected markers plays a critical part in training the neural network of the bot. Precision movement calibration by Tesla is a crucial first step towards establishing end-to-end -end neural network operation. In an earlier piece, Walter demonstrated that the bot could operate for 16 hours a day without the need for complex charging arrangements and by following regular break schedules. However, the key question still stands how long can the bot operate for without sacrificing productivity? Doctor. Walter provides an analytical method that combines human breaks with bot charging to reduce disturbances and maintain manufacturing line efficiency. Doctor. Walter shows that a 16-hour work week is doable with lots of flexibility, but what if you push the boundaries even farther? Dr. Walter examines several situations, taking into account elements such as battery cycling and charging infrastructure. Even in the most extreme circumstances, a 20-hour workday demonstrates that switching to a three-shift schedule is both feasible and comfortable. Dr. Walter analyzes the math to determine whether longer workdays are feasible. As hours go longer, the logistical challenges increase as well, requiring tighter break times and less time off for employees. Dr. Walter's investigation demonstrates the Tesla bot's exceptional efficiency and its ability to completely let's examine the subtleties of maximizing the Tesla bot's performance in actual production settings. With every shift painstakingly calibrated, the bot is prepared to shatter productivity boundaries and usher in a new era of manufacturing excellence. Dr. Walter dispels myths as he explores the complexities of coordinating flawless 24-hour operations. Dr. Walter also highlights possible obstacles by presenting a situation in which the bot encounters difficulties maintaining continuous operations by questioning the status quo. Dr. Walter emphasizes the value of growing as an innovator and taking lessons from mistakes. Using Dr. Walter's observations, it is clear that strategic planning is while a full 24-hour workday is still a ways off. Dr. Walter predicts that advancements in battery technology and charging infrastructure will further enhance the bot's capabilities. Paramount leverages existing BRAC schedules to optimize productivity and ensure the bot seamlessly integrates into the workflow alongside human counterparts. As the discussion progresses, Dr. Walter's practical approach creates the foundation for upcoming innovations. Dr. Walter reiterates Tesla's dedication to efficiency and simplicity. The bot's impressive lifting capacity and sleek design highlight its readiness for use in real-world scenarios. Interestingly, the topic of possible battery replacements comes up, which goes against popular belief, even though Tesla has been clear about its position on the matter. Potential is seen by Dr. Walter's keen eye. The bot's design provides clues that pique viewers' curiosity and inspire conjecture. Dr. Walter explores an intriguing range of tactics designed to address the bot's power needs while replacing batteries from the novel idea of hot swapping to the incorporation of reserve batteries. Every strategy is carefully considered, but going through these choices reveals a plethora of factors to take into account, from the cost of developing infrastructure to the complex design. Modifications needed to implement these solutions, every choice made in this engrossing journey into the heart of Tesla's technological evolution could influence automation in the future. Next, Doctor.
Walter discusses the technical difficulties in putting induction charging into practice and how these affect the efficiency and design of the bot. Finally, we see that doctor. Walter considers the value of critical thinking and first principle reasoning when tackling challenging engineering problems with an eye. Toward future developments in battery technology, he encourages visitors to visit his extensive website resource for Tesla investors. All right, guys, let's review the main ideas we've discussed regarding Tesla's bot and its battery swapping solutions. We've examined the difficulties and opportunities associated with using swappable battery packs, examined the viability of induction charging, and talked about other options too. Meet the bot's power requirements. We'd now like to hear your opinions on the best method for recharging Tesla's bot. Do you believe that battery swapping, induction charging, or another option has the most potential? Please leave a comment below with your thoughts, and don't forget to like this video if you thought it was educational. Additionally, for additional information on Tesla's most recent innovations and